Okay, thanks everyone for listening today. I am presenting the results of a multi-center phase one trial of a novel prostate biopsy device that offers the potential for real-time prostate cancer uh, diagnosis using optical spectroscopy. So the, the title of the study is a multi-center clinical trial of real-time prostate cancer diagnosis using optical spectroscopy guided prostate biopsy. And the work presented in this uh, Grand Rounds represents a multi-sensor effort, including numerous centers of excellence on prostate cancer diagnosis and treatment. So as a background, there are approximately 1 million transrectal ultrasound-guided prostate biopsies performed in the United States annually, and transrectal ultrasound prostate biopsy remains the principal method for prostate tissue evaluation. Uh, the technique is widely applied with urologists performing numerous biopsies in their outpatient setting under local anesthesia, uh, offering an accessible and scalable approach to the sizable patient population that requires prostate cancer evaluation. However, transrectal ultrasound-guided prostate biopsy remains hindered by several performance issues, including a false negative prostate biopsy rate and increased correct disease grading in approximately 30% of men. Of all the biopsies that we obtained, approximately 90% of those biopsy cores are actually benign in finding. And so the overall cancer detection rates uh, remain stable uh, despite increasing the number of biopsies that are performed, as you can see in this chart uh, from Bierlin et al. on the lower hand uh, side. As, as you repeat biopsies, cancer detection rate does not necessarily improve. Uh, this is a well-known phenomenon, well-documented phenomenon and has been an issue with prostate cancer diagnostic strategies for many years. Uh, the introduction of multiparametric MRI into the diagnostic pathway for prostate cancer has been shown to increase detection of clinically significant disease and decrease detection of lower grade prostate cancer. However, multiple factors do still influence the accuracy of targeted prostate bi biopsy sampling, including needle deflection, biopsy approach, uh, whether that's transperineal, transrectal, or an end fire probe versus a side fire probe, registration accuracy regarding MRI ultrasound fusion, uh, and the number of targeted cores that are obtained. Furthermore, operator experience both on the MRI side and on the fusion biopsy side are cri critical factors, as well as the size and location of the target that we're trying to, to uh, diagnose. Uh, so while MPMRI does guide a better biopsy over the blind transrectal ultrasound biopsy, this study explores the application of a novel biopsy needle, employing a real-time technology to try and improve information obtained at the time of biopsy. I like to think of it as the multiparametric MRI provides a better biopsy, but this is an approach to try and provide a better biopsy needle. Tissue optical properties depend both upon the morphology of the tissue as well as the molecular composition of the tissue. Optical analysis evaluates these tissue compositions through autofluorescent spectra, otherwise known as AFS, and diffuse reflectance spectra, otherwise known as DRS. Cellular endogenous fluorophores within the tissue include molecules such as tryptophan, collagen, and NADH. Excitation of these tissues with LED anywhere from 280 to 340 nanometers, uh, creates an autofluorescent signal. And AFS is the emission from these autofluorescent signals. They reflect the molecular composition of the tissue be evaluated and differs between malignant and benign tissue. Reflection of diffuse fluorescent light, or DRS, reflects the tissue morphology and architecture, so scattering Reflected light off of the tissue represents the degree of glandular architecture disruption in a similar fashion that we see with diffusion-weighted imaging in multiparametric MRI. In essence, what this is saying is if you put an incident light onto a tissue that is normally structured or a benign gland, you get one diffuse reflection pattern versus an abnormally structured gland that you might see with a higher grade cancer. And so the reflective pattern is different and the DRS is measuring that. This is dependent primarily upon morphology and architecture and reflect tissue grade. So the Claricore optical biopsy system is a novel 
biopsy system that was developed to employ the optical characteristics at the time of needle biopsy. Uh, this analyzes using a 16-gauge biopsy needle that contains a 200-micron optical fiber within the, the, the biopsy gun, and that's demonstrated in this image. So the biopsy gun actually is very similar in appearance to the regular biopsy gun, but as uh, an added component, it contains a fiber within the needle that as you place the needle into the tissue, it both transmits and receive, receives spectral information. The excitation is performed at 280 to 340 nanomillim, nanometers to provide the uh, autofluorensis spectra data and a broadband image from 400 to 800 nanometers for the diffuse reflectometry. Um, within the device, there's a spectrometer that contains and measures the AFS and DS, DRS. And what the biopsy needle does is you place it into the tissue and there's a motor within the gun and it advances the fiber one millimeter at a time across the tissue and obtains the spectroscopy data across 10 millimeters. You can see here uh, on the bottom right, uh, a, a depiction of how that information would be displayed. So each of these squares is a one millimeter advance, and the red areas um, would be indicated on the device as tissue that would be considered suspicious versus normal being green. This spectral information is transmitted from the display into the display piece that's connected to the gun and thinking can be given as a real-time feedout. This study is the result of a phase one trial, multi-institutional, analyzing the utilization of this device. The optical biopsy was performed in 142 men. There were 1,158 prostate biopsy cores obtained using this device, and overall 16% of the cores did contain prostate cancer. The algorithm using the ultrasound, or using the uh, spectroscopy information was then correlated to the histopathology data. And that was used to develop a initial algorithm for how the uh, spectra could differentiate between suspicious and non-suspicious. And the testing characteristics for this are shown in both the, the algorithm on the, the table on the right. There's an area under the curve of 0.87. Uh, and most importantly, I would point out is that the negative predictive value for the optical spectroscopy was around 97%. So uh, when this demonstrated a normal tissue, it was very unlikely that you would have cancer in that biopsy core. Uh, this was a phase one trial, and the primary endpoint was truly just evaluating the safety profile using this needle. It is a 16-gauge needle, so it is slightly larger than our typical 18-gauge needles. Um, and so the purpose of this initial data was to assess whether there were any increase in adverse events or pain associated with using this biopsy needle. This biopsy needle was primarily used in a transrectal fashion during these uh, procedures, and the pain scores were calculated post-procedure for using this device, and the mean score was a 2.1 uh, on a 10-point rating scale. There were no serious adverse events. So in essence, this was a very encouraging phase one trial utilizing a device that gives real-time feedback. Now, the optical biopsy does offer a novel way to assess the tissue. There are many areas that this device would then have potential to be employed in a prostate biopsy pathway, uh, both from a a real-time feedback to assess needle accuracy and needle location, but also to limit uh, obtaining tissue. Uh, this offers an opportunity if you could place this needle into the prostate and everything was normal and uh, the negative predictive value is sufficient enough that you would not necessarily need to obtain a tissue core from that region. And so overall, uh, is an encouraging phase one trial with an acceptable safety profile and uh, promising uh, initial study to propel further work.